Hey guys, it's the Crest Mom 1922. I've been gone for a very long time and um, I just want to come back and do a video, a tu uh, not a tutorial, but a update on my products and a length check and also um, talk about what I'm doing here lately. So, um, let me get my camera out of the way here. Okay, so I will say that one thing that I have been doing very different is the brand of products that I've been using. I have no longer been using Giovanni products like I used to with Shea Moisture. I have started using um, Miss Jessie's products. And um, I would have to say that once you get past the cost of the products, because she is very expensive. Um, the product is amazing. I absolutely love Miss Jessie's products. I really, really, really do. And she's not paying me, nor do I know them. So um, I'm just stating this from experience. I really love her products. Um, what I love about it is the way it makes my hair feel. And um, my curls will stay for a couple of days. Not that my curls didn't last with the Shea Moisture, but it's just something different. And it does the same thing, but it smells wonderful and um, it's softer to the touch. I forgot to bring one of my um, products in here that I'm using also by Miss Jessie. But first, let's get started. Um, I'll start off with washing my hair, co-washing. I use a conditioner to wash my hair. Um, and I clarify maybe once a month or once every two months, depending on how my hair feel. Um, but um, I use, who do I use to co-wash? Oh, I still use Giovanni Deep Moisture Conditioner to co-wash my hair. And that works pretty well. Um, I've tried using Hello Hydration, and it really dries my hair out. But it does, you know, the silicones in it make your hair um, very silky at the moment when you're washing it. And then when it dries, it becomes kind of hard. So um, I've been using Giovanni. Um, okay, so the leave-in that I've been using is her new leave-in condish. And this is the bottle here. And um, it says it's the best darn leave-in. Of course, all of her products is the best, best darn curl cream or whatever. Um, it really is, though. It really is. And I hope she does not increase the price on this because it's $11. And um, I love it. I absolutely love it. I hope that she never changed the... Um, ingredients in here because whatever it is it works well so it really gives me a whole lot of slip and my hair it takes a lot to get slip for my hair and this leave-in gives me lots and lots and lots of slip my hair my fingers just like glide right through my hair when I use it I love it so um, that's what I use for a leave-in and then after I put in my leave-in I use olive oil my favorite thing. And I bought this little um, applicator bottle from Sally's. It says leak proof. That's not true because clearly, as you see, that just leaked. <laughs> um, but I love olive oil on my hair and on my scalp. Just don't put too much on because it will run down your neck and you'll become very greasy and oily looking and hair. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, when I put it on my hair, I put it on my scalp. And then I put it on the ends of my hair while I'm working all my um, products in. So first, I use my leave-in conditioner, then my olive oil, and then I add my product. I've tried the stretch silkening cream, and I really like it. Um, I can use this as my go-to sty uh, styler or whatnot. Um, and it doesn't really stretch my curls. Nothing really stretches my curls. They're so, um, so tight. I got major shrinkage. This is nothing. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I'll stand and do that in a minute. But anyway, um, it does not stretch your curls. I have not found that to be true for my hair, anyway. And, um, Let's see what else. After I put my stretch silkening cream on, then I add my Eco Styler Gel. 
This is the one I use. It's in the green bottle. Eco, which, you know, most people in the natural hair community are familiar with this product. So I don't have to go into detail about it. But I love Eco. I mean, I've tried other gels. And I really like the Icy Fantasia gel. I like that gel. It's pretty nice. But this one's heavier to me. And with my hair being so thick, I think it's just easier for me with the weight to hold my hair down. Um, by using that so I like it and sometimes I'll add my oil again on my ends when I am um, before I put the gel on don't ask me. I have no idea why I do that it might be um, because my ends may feel a little dry or something and I just want to make sure it's lubricated I have no idea but anyway I like have OCD about hair um, also curly pudding I like this stuff, um, the reason why I wanted to buy it was because it's purple, hence my nails are purple too, but um, I'm very girly, uh, but yeah, it smells good, and I found that this is what I used on my hair today, so hopefully you can see my hair, um, I really love it, I don't just like it, I really love it. Anyway, uh, this stuff here is, like, amazing. I love the way it makes my hair feel when I put the products on. And when it's dry, it's so soft. Also, when I use my Pillow Soft Curls, which I did not bring it in the room, but when I use my Pillow Soft Curls, oh, my gosh, it makes my hair so soft. If I don't use the Eco Styler Gel. If I just use the stuff by itself, my hair is like fluffy and soft. It's not the, it's not like this. It doesn't look like this at all. It just looks very, it looks like this. It's just not stiff or, you know, no crunch to it whatsoever. When I used the Pillow Soft Curls and the Curly Pudding um, together in the oil. Um, this stuff, I would only use it like for something special because... For one, all of this stuff is really expensive to me. Two, this gives me the best curls. And if I'm not going anywhere, I don't need like spectacular hair. So um, I just use stretch silk mink cream if I'm just going to, you know, not really be doing anything. But if I'm going somewhere and I want my curls to pop, then I will be using this. Not that this doesn't make your curls pop because it does. Um, but... I really like this stuff and I don't want to use too much of it and run out and you know have to go buy it again when I can just preserve it so also the pillow soft curls I don't have any on me right now but absolutely love it I like it because it smells good um, but I love that stuff I'm gonna forever buy that stuff and it gives me good slip too um, all this stuff just gives me slip, and that's why I love the products. Um, it could be the dimethicone, because I do believe it has dimethicone in the product. Uh, um, I'm sure it does. Yeah, dimethicone. Which, I used to run away from dimethicone. Silicones, all that stuff. I used to run away from it. But now that my hair is longer... Um, I've had a little experience with my hair, and I know what my hair likes and what it doesn't like. And natural products work for me, and my hair has grown dramatically. But I just love the way my hair feels with these products. With silicones. I just love silicones. I can't help it. I just do. I don't care anymore about, you know, doing the 100% natural product situation i'm just kind of over it so i'm just gonna do whatever works for my hair you can do whatever works for your hair and sometimes products that have crazy ingredients does the job but anyway that's my rant and that's how i feel about it um you can hate me you can like me i don't care it's just hair <laughs> um so oh let's get to the link check okay so I'm gonna stand up for this. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. 
And let's see, I'll take this shirt off. I'm the one that I didn't need to put it on. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, I'm gonna back this up. All right. And um, let's see. We'll do the back. I need to do this. My hair is crazy. Okay. So, this is the back. This is like the side. It's not necessarily the back. My hair was not ready for this <laughs> link check. We'll just start off on the side, I guess. The side of my head. Okay. This is coming from here. And it stops. Let's see. These are my boobs. It stops at the bottom of my bra here. That's where the side of my hair is. Let's see. I cut my hair recently. I shaved it a little bit. So it's probably not even all the way there, but anyway. Um we'll just take a random part. And my hand is straight and it is My head is straight. So, it's pretty long. Let's see this side. And this is just from like a random piece right here. And I had no idea my hair was that long in the back. But anyway, um, that's my hair. Let's see the front. We'll just take a random curl. Let's see. I cut my bangs, and I cut like this part of my hair, this part of my hair. And what I did, I just put my hair up like this and went into like a ponytail and I just cut it across. Um, didn't care what it turned out like. I think once your hair becomes long, you no longer care anymore about stupid stuff. Like, you just really don't care. Just cut it. Who cares? Um, but anyway. Random piece coming from here in my head. And let's see. She whiz. It's like right here. On my arm. Super long. Anyway, um, that's all. I've been so busy with baby. That I have not had any time for like videos even when I was pregnant I was just too tired I couldn't even breathe <laughs> I was just sad and didn't care um, about making videos but hopefully um, I can get back into the habit of making videos my older daughter she is 16 and she is babysitting right now so I can make this video um, 
But I just had to come on because I am just so in love with Miss Bessie's products. I really am. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hit like and hit subscribe. And maybe you'll see more videos of me um, pretty soon.